To find the derivative of arc sine of x, we'll say that y equals arc sine x, then use implicit differentiation to find dy dx. Our first step is to take the sine of both sides of this equation. That way, on the left, we'll have sine y, and on the right, sine of arc sine of x is just x, because sine and arc sine are inverses. So this is much better. We know the derivatives of everything in this equation, so we can start to use implicit differentiation. Taking the derivative on the left, the derivative of sine y is cosine y, but then we need to multiply by the derivative of y by the chain rule. And the derivative of y is dy dx, which remember is what we're looking for. On the right, the derivative of x is just 1. Then, since we're looking for dy dx, we'll divide both sides of this equation by cosine y to solve for dy dx. Thus, dy dx is equal to 1 divided by cosine of y, which is equal to this, and here's why. Recall the Pythagorean identity, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, but then cosine squared would equal 1 minus sine squared, and taking the square root of both sides allows us to express cosine in terms of sine. Using the Pythagorean identity, we find cosine of y equals the square root of 1 minus sine squared of y. So coming back to our derivative, 1 over cosine y is the same as 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus sine squared of y. But sine of y, we know, is x. That was right in the beginning of our solution. Sine of y is x. So sine squared of y is x squared, and that gives us our final derivative. The derivative of arc sine of x with respect to x is 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared. That's a derivative worth remembering, and here's what it would look like in the context of the chain rule. If instead of arc sine of x, we had arc sine of u, where u is a function of x, then the derivative would be u prime divided by the square root of 1 minus u squared. As an example, if we had the derivative of arc sine of 4x squared, we would have u prime in the numerator, so the derivative of that inside function, which is just 8x, and then in the denominator, we have the square root of 1 minus the inside function squared. 4x squared is 16x to the 4th.